Good morning, good morning, everyone. Um, welcome to Ignite After Dark. So before we introduce who we are, we got two, two presenters tonight, two for the price of one. Um, before we introduce ourselves, I just wanna quickly go through some Zoom class etiquette um, and some things because we are, there are 116 people 116 agents registered for this class. Now we know life happens, things happen, you know, so we'll see, but you guys have tuned in and signed up and said, I'm ready to start my business and learn. And I'm so excited. So a few, a few Zoom things. Number one, if you are in a place and your computer allows it, please in the bottom left-hand corner, click on the video button. It is way more engaging, especially with a two hour class for us instructors on a personal note, and also all the other people on Zoom, it's way more engaging for two hours if you can put your video on. It is cool wherever you are. If you are in your PJs, you got your kids in the background, you got cats running around, you got dogs running around. That is cool. We are all human, all right? So put your video on. We love to see them too. I did a Zoom the other day and there was three pigs in the background. No lie, pigs, like not dogs, not cats. They were little pigs. <laughs> So that was cool. Um, the second thing is please, we, we will probably have about 50 to 80, if not 90 people on the Zoom. So to manage participation and engagement, please keep yourself on mute. There will be times where we ask for participation and engagement. There's two ways to do that. One is you can put it in the chat box and we're gonna be monitoring that and looking at the chat box with all your questions right? And chat box is at the very bottom of your screen. The second thing is you'll see at the bottom of your screen, a little button that says reactions. So we're going to test that out right now. I want everybody at the bottom of their zoom to click on reactions and click one of the fun little, oh, what do you call those things? Emojis. emojis. Yeah, I don't even know. Go. Click on one of the emojis oh. on the reactions. Oh my God, look at this. We got smileys. We got laughies. We got Hands clapping, we got thumbs up. This is awesome. So at any point throughout this, to again, make it more engaging on Zoom, go ahead and throw some emojis in there. Now, also with the reactions, you will see at the very bottom, it says raise hand. I do see two people um, who have already raised theirs, which by the way, once you raise it, you can click that button again and it will say lower hand. So if you have a question, you can either put it in the chat box or click the reaction button and click raise hand, okay? And what that's gonna do is send us a signal that there's a question and we'll call your name to unmute yourself and talk away and engage. Um, I think that's covered everything, right? Zoom etiquette, yeah, 101. Yeah, for the most part. Yeah, yeah. For most, okay. Um, we're gonna feed off each other, bounce off each other. Listen, it's six, it's six o'clock at night, right? Most of you are home, you had long days work, you are, you are tuned in for this, right? Um, so we will make this as engaging and fun as possible. Yeah, we appreciate you all being here and saying yes to igniting your business. So that's a huge, huge deal. And uh, we don't wanna, we'll be remiss if we don't mention that. So thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, so um, introductions, who are you listening to? Who are we? Um, my name's Alana. I am the Director of Coaching and Business Development in Towson, Maryland. I uh, started as an agent, so I, I was in your seat. If anybody's brand spanking new, I was in your seat in 2015. Um, started as an agent in 2015. Quickly had some success after failures. I failed first, don't, don't get me wrong. I did not succeed in the beginning. I updated my resume many times, thought I was getting out of the business for months. Then I got some great training and coaching and that helped me um, move forward. I became a team leader at a market center, uh, helping new agents come into the market center. And then for the past four years, um, I have been a full-time coach to agents. My partner in crime here. Hello, hello. Good <laughs> evening, everyone. I am Jack Crutchfield Jr. I am the new regional technology director for the Maryland DC region. And this is actually my first time teaching Ignite. So I'm very excited to actually start this journey with you all. And I'm um, originally from the Upper Marlboro Market Center here in the Maryland, D.C. region, where I was previously a market center tech trainer for about three or four years now. And uh, now I am excited to be a part of the regional team and to help you all grow your business. So a pleasure is all mine. Thank you. 
awesome. Um, all right. This is kind of what I'm about to do may or may not work. I have never attempted this on Zoom before. We may break it. We're going to find out in a minute. But I'd love to get a little attendance. We're not going to go around and ask everybody because with 50 people now in here and 25 coming in in just a minute, um, that would be our two hours. Um, so in, we're not going, I'm not going to have, we're not going to have you guys introduce yourself, but in the chat box, if you can put your name, the number of years or months you've been in real estate and where you're located. Okay, so name, number of years in real estate and where you're located. Now, there's actually a purpose behind that. Number one, it's kind of fun to see, like relate, right? Someone's like, oh my God, I've been in for like two days and someone else is like, I've been in for two days, right? That's kind of a fun, you guys can connect through chat and maybe exchange phone numbers and have a partner throughout, throughout this Ignite program. But the other thing is, Jack, what market center are you with? Um, with uh, currently market center number 460, which is Upper Marlboro, Maryland. So Jackson, Upper Marlboro. What is that, uh, PG County? Yes. So Jackson, PG County. I'm in Towson, so I'm in Baltimore County. So if I were an agent and Jack were an agent right now, and I, there was a buyer that maybe I know who's looking for a house in Upper Marlboro, and I didn't feel like driving there all the time to show them a house, what could I do with that person? Hmm. Seems like you can call a friend out in Upper Marlboro, can you? I could. I could call you. There you go. I could call you. <laughs> right. So another reason why I'm having you put where you're located is because Maryland is huge. DC is some DC people on here. It's huge. Some people are licensed in Virginia, Pennsylvania. I'm in Towson, right? I am not driving to Kent Island to help a buyer. All right. I'm not driving. I live in Howard County, by the way. I'm not driving to Bel Air to help a buyer, but I bet you there is a Bel Air agent on here, right? Or a Kent Island agent on here. So making those connections, looking at that chat box um, will be really beneficial to all of you. Referrals are huge. Absolutely. All right, let's kick things off. I'm gonna share the screen. <clears throat> and I see everyone still continue to put the information in the chat. Please keep putting the information in the chat. Make sure you take note of it because you might have a new referral partner. Absolutely. All right. So tonight we're going to go through two things. One is going to be, um, oh, thank you. Look at this. I have the regional tech trainer to the right of me, which is so <laughs> fantastic right now because I feel like I'm techie sometimes. But then I look over and he just did this button thing on my screen and I'm like, oh, that was exciting. <laughs> um, everybody needs a tech person in their life. So tonight, what we're going to go through to kick off Ignite is how to fuel your career and a day in the life of an agent. Now, you should have, if you registered uh, prior to two days ago, you should have received an email from my operations coordinator, Melissa, with the material to follow along. If you didn't, that's okay. It will be sent out over and over and over again. Um, and towards the end of this, we will make sure we put all of our information and our contact information in the chat box as well. Don't worry about that because I'll totally forget. Gotcha. Um, uh, so if for some reason you don't receive that, you can absolutely get that information. Um, so we're going to talk about how to get started, what a day in the life of an agent looks like, right? how to structure your day, well, let's kick things off. Yeah, let's get straight to it. All right. Nope, that didn't work. Nope, that didn't work. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to shrink this down. There we go. Perfect. All right. Your big why. What is the... Somebody throw in the chat box or... Well, I guess I do need to show the pictures here for raising hands. Somebody either throw in the chat box or raise. use the reaction button to raise your hand. When we say the words big why... What does that mean to you? Mm, financial freedom. I love that. All right, got a hand raise. Helping my father retire, give oh, yep. back, flexibility. Mm, oh, and we have a hand freedom. raised. Yes. Go ahead and unmute yourself. 
Good evening, my name is Kindred. Um, the big why, why did I come to this class? To um, get my business job started, that's why. Get your, thank you so much. How long have you been in the business? Three years. Get a jump start. So you are tapping into this. Is it safe to say you're tapping into this to kick off your 2022 strong? Yeah, yes, actually. So I said in 2022, I'm a part-time, well, I can't even say I'm a part-time agent. I'm a seasonal agent. So I, I go into agent mode when someone asks me about it. I don't do much. So I said in 2022, I'm going to let my business pay for my license renewals for my continued education for my dues really get into it so that's why now that thank you so much for sharing thank really so appreciate much, that yeah god and other ones in here role model for my children to help others create, create my, my own firm. wow to start that's exciting look at these these are so what you guys are putting in the chat box is so inspiring right and by the way big whys Right. When we think of the word why, what is it? What what wakes you up every morning? Gets you out of bed to focus on your real estate business. Right. So when we think about your why, what we're gonna do right now is a really quick activity. We're gonna kick it off. Are you cool with that? I'm Kicking totally off with a cool activity. All absolutely. right, we're flowing. All right. So pen and paper. Hopefully, all of you have that. Or if not, notes on a cell phone work just fine too. Um, take the next two minutes and I want you to think about there is going to be ups and downs in your business and real estate. There will be times for those who have been in the business over a year, you know exactly what I'm talking about. For those that are brand spanking new, there's going to be times in your business where you're going to be like so excited and you are on it and you're focused and, and the activities are flowing. And then you're going to have a week where you know, it's cold, it's raining, you know, kind of want to stay in and drink hot chocolate and watch a movie on Netflix, right? But you're kind of behind on your goals. You're like, ah, what's going to keep you going? So take the next two minutes and on your piece of paper, I want you to write down what is going to keep you going, right? What's that why? That's going to keep you going. Is it getting out of debt, something for children, something for your future? It could be buying a new car in three months, right? This is your why. So take the next two minutes, think through that, write that down. All right, about 30 more seconds. All right, let's come back together. If you're still writing, please continue. Um, Let's hear from one or two of you, right? By the way, again, you can put, if you're willing to share, we would love that, put it in the chat box, what you wrote down. If you'd like to raise your hand and come off a of mute and share, that would be great too. Um, let's hear from a few of you. What'd you write down? What are some of your big whys? Mm. All right, career independence. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right helping my parents retire, having financial freedom, flexibility in my schedule. That's a great one. Mm -hmm. Definitely flexibility. 
<laughs> to not be a slave to the barbershop every weekend. All right. To gain financial wealth, getting out of debt, team accountability. Ooh. Ooh, man, these, are nice. these are jumping in here. These are amazing. Oh my goodness. So here's the thing with your big why. I don't want you to stop here. Every training, anybody, okay. There may be one or two of you on here. Again, there's 54 of you on here right now. So I haven't scrolled through all the, the participants and pictures, but there's probably a few of you on here who maybe have taken a class with me. For all of you who have never taken a class with me, and Jack's learning this about me, <laughs> my background is education. I have a master's in elementary ed. So I like giving homework because trainings are only as good as the action we take after them. What I would, the, the first, this is going to be homework assignment number one, is to look at your calendar, look at your schedule over the next five days. So basically the rest of this week, it could be the weekend, you can use the weekend. And I want you to block out some time with yourself, an appointment, appointment with yourself. You know, we do things for so many other people, our, our kids, our families, our, our bosses, if we have another job, we're working at a barber shop, we got somebody there who's we're reporting to, right? Um, I want you to schedule time in your calendar for yourself for about an hour minimum, no distractions, no other voices, meaning no other people whispering in your ear, you can't talk to other people about this. And I want you to dig deeper into your big why, right? What that means is whatever you wrote down, what does that mean? Why is that important? What's that going to do for you? When, that, when you achieve that, how will you feel? Right? And just keep asking yourself questions and dig deeper and dig deeper. It might get emotional. Might get, just a few of you might get emotional. I know it did for me. And then I want you to create a visual. Now this visual, you know, some people on here might be like, I am not artsy. I am not drawing anything. Your visual is up to you. It could be a big vision board with magazine pictures cut out. It could be a quote or a saying on your phone that pops up as a reminder every day. It could be your backdrop on your computer, right? I know one agent who has a saying, their, their big why as a big saying, and they have it in five places hanging up in their house. Wow. Yeah. Like he said that, I'm like, well, that's in your face. Really? So everywhere you go. It is, it is he cannot get away from it, right? Um, any questions on the activity you're gonna do outside of here in the next few days? You can ask them in the chat box or raise your hand. Yep. All right, if any questions pop up, Please ask them because if you're thinking it, I guarantee you one of the other 55 agents on here is thinking the exact same thing. We have a saying at Keller Williams and it's aha moments. Jack and I literally just took a class today from nine to five together. That's why we're sitting in a classroom together because we finished the class at five. And it was all about how to do trainings, the importance of ahas and ahas are, what are your takeaways? What are you learning from this? And it's agents helping agents. Absolutely. Right. So if you're thinking that something or you have a question, I guarantee you it will help somebody else as well. So this is a safe zone, ignites a safe zone where we're all learning together. All right. So let's go through what is ignite. What are, you, what are we going to go through? What are you guys going to go through over the next four weeks? Ignite is four weeks, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, from six to eight o'clock at night. It is typically hosted um, throughout our entire region and also in multiple market centers as well. Um, I know we host it every quarter. Most, I know you guys are- In the middle of one right now. Yep, you guys have one at nine, like in the morning, right? Nine to 11, something like that, or? Uh, no, ours is around the same time. Yep, six on Tuesdays and Thursdays from six to eight. Awesome, so there's always a night running somewhere at some point to tap into. Now I say that, but you guys have tapped into this one. You guys have said, I'm ready to do, to, to run my business. I'm ready to grow it and run it. Two words on the screen, grow and run. There is a statistic, and this is proven. By the way, I love numbers because numbers tell a story. And Ignite 
every agent who graduates, we'll define that in a minute, graduates Ignite, outperforms the agents who don't graduate Ignite times, oh, what was the recent stat? Was it three? Times three. Hmm. So three times outperform those who don't graduate Ignite. Jack's sitting there like doing some math on his hands. Gonna, and I'm like, wow. okay, so it's 10,000, carry the one. <laughs> We're not going to get into math today. Don't worry. No math today. Okay. For anybody who's like me, I do not like math. We're not doing math. Um, now to graduate Ignite, we know people have lives. We got kids, we got families, we got stuff going on. What that means is for the next four weeks to graduate, um, you have to attend, what is it, 12 classes? So yeah. 10, no, nine, sorry, nine out of the 12 classes. So you, to graduate, you were allowed to miss three Ignite classes. I don't recommend missing three, but you were allowed because life happens. Okay, to graduate, you get a, by the way, Ignite, cert, if you put your name in the chat box and, and, and registered, an Ignite certificate will be sent to you. You will have your pretty Ignite certificate to be able to hang it up and, you know, show it off. Um, it's very exciting. And for those who have things coming up, I know people have vacations, they got things they're, they're, they're doing in life. That's okay. Take note of which classes um, you miss. Next time Ignite rolls around, either in your market center or the region, tap into those few classes, then reach out to your market center and say, hey, I just finished the ones to catch up on, get your certificate. All right, so everybody has a chance. Nope, I'm not watching the movie. Nope, I'm not watching the movie. Nope, hold on. Attempting to buy, hey, hey tech person, there not now. There we go. Thanks so much. <laughs> it's me sitting here clicking buttons. All right. So let's take a look at this quote from Gary Keller out of the Millionaire Real Estate Agent book, as we effectively know as the MREA. Nothing else about your business will have as big an impact on it as the number of leads you have. Let's repeat that again. Nothing else about your business will have as big an impact on it as the number of leads you have. What are leads? Let's take a look at it. So leads are basically your database of people you have not met, mm -hmm. people you have not connected with just yet, all right? So when we say lead generate, when we say we get on the phone for the calls, that's what our intention is to generate leads because everybody is doing what? Looking to buy, sell, invest in real estate some way, somehow, so we can grow our database. So we're gonna just take a look and start with our sphere. So we're gonna define, what, you're, what we're gonna go through right now is how to find business. Okay, so reaction button time. Bottom of Zoom, reaction button time, okay? Fun stuff. Use a thumbs up or a heart if you want to learn how to find more business or if you're brand new, find business, meaning finding buyers, sellers, and investors. Oh, we're just seeing hearts left and right here. There we go. Love it. Look at all these hearts. All right, perfect. So the greatest place to find business is what's called your sphere. In real estate terms, we call that an SOI, sphere of influence. These are your friends, your family. There are people you know who they who you know, they know you. So there's already a like and trust built, built in there, right? Again, reaction button time. Is it safe to say you would more likely do business with someone that you know, like, and trust? Thumbs up. Yep. Right. You see that unanimous. Oh my God, love this. Absolutely. So your first piece of business, I want everybody, we're gonna, we're, now, granted, we only see a few blocks on our screen, but I'm going to assume everybody's doing this right now. I want everybody to hold up. If you have it next to you, I want everybody to hold up. I can't find my mouse. To hold up your phone. Okay. Everybody who's holding up their phone, you are right now holding a gold mine of business of people who are ready to buy or sell or invest or know somebody who's ready to buy, sell, or invest. What we're going to walk through in just a minute is how to tap into it. What do you say? 
most people so true story i get into real estate 2015 Oh, it's a painful story. That's why I'm like pausing for a minute. <laughs> Again, a real estate this is so true. I get in real estate 2015 and I'm so that agent who I posted on social media and I'm like, I'm in real estate. Look at me. Yay. And I sent some emails out, but I never picked up the phone and called or text anybody in my sphere, friends and family to let them know I'm in real estate and ask them if I can help them with any real estate needs. So about six months into real estate, I had three good friends, Viv, Emma, and Chris. And when I say good friends, they're like my inner circle. I hang out with them all the time. We text all the time. And they all three in a three month time span bought and sell without using me. They bought and sell with other agents, by the way, over $400,000 homes. Mm. Okay. I think I did the math one day as is painful, but I lost like over $30,000 in three months. So I want to ask the group, raise your hand or put it in chat. Why did they use other agents as opposed to me? Because you didn't promote yourself. Oh, thank you. Is that Raquel? Is that what I'm saying? Yeah. Raquel, thank you so much. I didn't promote myself. I was a secret agent. I was 007. Right. I thought, oh, they'll see my social media post. They'll reach out to me. Real estate is, I'm going to burst some bubbles right now, and I'm so sorry. Real estate is not HGTV. Okay. <laughs> it does not come to you. You have to go to it. And you have to educate the people around you how you want to build your business. Okay. So who's ready to learn how to do that? As a reaction, let's see a hands up, as people thumbs up, awesome. 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 Okay. So, can we role play? Yes, let's go. Wouldn't it be funny if he said no? Uh, right. <laughs> That'd be like the, again, we've been in class from like nine to five, taking an all day training with two little tiny breaks. So, this is like our fun time. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So, Jack is going to be. A friend in my phone. Can you, can you be my friend? I'll be your friend. All right, cool. <laughs> I need a few more of those. So Jack's going to be a friend of my phone who, you know, I haven't talked to him in a little while. Right? Maybe I, I catch up every so often with him. But he knows me and I know him from some previous job. We're just going to, we're going to set the tone. Okay. Okay. So you guys ready? Say head nods. Yes. Okay. Ring. Hello. Hey, Jack. It's Alana. Hey, Alana. What's going on? How oh, you been? Oh my God. How have you been? It's been ages. I know. I know. It's been a while. I haven't I haven't talked to you in about some months now. How, how are you feeling? Life has been crazy, man. I. You know what? And and I'm at work right now, and I was scrolling through my phone, and your name just popped up, right? As I was, I was scrolling, wow. I was like, Oh my God. I need to reach out to Jack. What's up? What's been happening in your world? Wow. Wow. I appreciate the call. Um, nothing much. I just still working and still making sure, you know, still saving and investing and family's doing good. And I'm just excited about the next opportunities and making sure that 2022 is just going to be a great one for all of us. Nice. Ask me how, ask me how I've been. How have you been? <laughs> By the way, when you ask somebody, how have they been? What do they typically ask you? great good right and then they're yeah. like how have you been what's been happening in your world right it's usually reciprocal this is your foot in the door right so the first part of this phone call we're gonna break this down the first part of this is care about these people just show that you care about these people we're in this interesting day and age where people are longing for conversation they are longing to reconnect so picking up the phone or texting, it's 2021, I can get with the times, texting <laughs> or even what is it called? DMing, P private yep. messaging, yep. direct messaging. Yep. Was it? Yeah, okay, it. I'm showing my age right now. DMing on social media platform, right? Not commenting on something that 200 people comment on and they're not gonna see that, like an actual direct message to them, right? But reaching out to see how they're doing. We're not talking real estate just yet. 
Now, if they open the door and ask you, how have you been doing? That's your end. This is where you become purposeful about what you say to say, oh my God, Jack, I don't know if you have seen my social media feed, but I'm in real estate now. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh my God. I'm so excited. The market is insane right now. Is that right? Wow. How long have you been in real estate? Just a little bit. Just a little bit, but I, you know what? I'm with one of the nations. I'm with not one of, I'm with the nation's largest real estate brokerage. I am surrounded by a team of agents who, you know, we work together and it's just amazing. I, I got to ask, you know, I'm really looking to build my business in 2022 off of helping friends and family. And I can, I mean, I consider you a friend. Um, Absolutely. Any real estate needs that you might have or know somebody with real estate needs I can help? Uh, yes, as a matter of fact, I know a cousin who's selling and I'm actually looking to buy myself in the spring. Cha-ching, seller, buyer. Okay, everybody hear that? Seller and buyer. Okay. Now that was a quick sneak preview, but I wanna hear, I wanna hear from you guys. What's your take on that? What did you take away from from that role play and be honest whatever you're thinking positive or maybe not positive somebody else is thinking so i guess it was a role play so of course it's just that it's role play right but the whole point of it was for you to be more so like a genuine it was just a genuine like hey how you doing not necessarily like you said throwing your real estate business and letting them like hey real estate choose me it wasn't that type of thing but it was just kind of like hey how you doing and if it comes up then you then or once they ask you like hey what have you been up to then you, that's what you've been up to right you've been doing real estate or at least trying to get your business off the ground so you just kind of say that but still not being that salesperson and just kind of you know being genuine but also letting you know like hey we might we might can do business together yes oh my god i love what was your name mariah mariah you said a yes. word that i want to point out and it was genuine right yes. all of you have a background whether that is in some sort of customer service industry, retail, working with people, um, we all come from some sort of background, right? Meaning you're all experienced. Anybody who just got licensed, you are not allowed to call yourself a new agent. I give people 24 hours after being licensed to call themselves new agent and that's it, you're out, okay? Now you're, now you're just an agent, okay? Right. Join, the, join the ranks. Um, and you all have value to bring because you have a background you have experience even before real estate and you all have personalities or you wouldn't have gotten into real estate most likely i'm gonna make i'm gonna make that assumption yeah okay fair enough no, um, no enough agents yeah of course <laughs> uh lisa you have your hand raised yes i don't know if you can see me um yeah. but, okay hi guys so that part is easy for me however where I get tripped up is the next part where I need to, I need to say, was your, you know, address, email address, date of birth, you know, where I need to gather all of the information so that I can stay in touch and so that I can market. And so I feel like I'm asking too much, you know, how would you, what would you recommend for that? It, Lisa, what an amazing question. Um, so Lisa, would you mind if I, I demonstrated with you? Could we do a quick role play doing that? I think you're still on mute. Okay. Perfect. So we're gonna play off. So we already went to run through the first part of the conversation. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of pick it up in the middle here. Okay, don't worry, I'll tee you up, I'll tee you up. And guess what? You just get to be yourself. Okay. You get to be Lisa. Okay. <laughs> um, and it, we, again, we've been friends and obviously I have, so I have your phone number cause I just called you, but I have nothing else. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So pausing for a minute to think where I'm going with this. Okay. So Lisa, Thank, I really appreciate you giving me, you know, that, uh, 
that cousin of yours, you know, information or, or connecting me with your cousin to really help them, you know, buy, a, you know, sell a house and you're thinking about buying a house. Um, you know what I don't have? I don't think I have the most up-to-date email address for you. What was that again? Blah, blah, blah. Lisa okay. at I'm an awesome agent .com. Got it. Right, right. Um, awesome. Now, Lisa, where are you? You mentioned selling a house. Where are you living these days? Gotcha. So there's two parts. Number one, don't say can I have your email address. Okay. Words, words have meaning. I literally just taught a class on this at nine o'clock this morning. Words have meaning. So when you say can, it actually promotes per it produces a signal to their brain that makes them think, oh, can she? I don't know. Can she? Mm. So instead of can, if you just say, hey, what's the best email for you, email address for you these days? She's going to think, oh, she already has my email address, but let me make sure she has the right one. Right. Mm -hmm. The second part of that is where, you know, where are you these days? Where are you located? It's the human. That's just me being nosy. I just want to like, I don't know where you are. Mm -hmm. are you in Baltimore? I love that. I love it. Like, I love that because you made it feel, you made it a part of the conversation, not like a sales pitch. Yeah. Two words you just said there. I want every single person on here to take note of this. That Lisa just said, that's brilliant. Conversation, not a sales pitch. We are not salespeople. Yes, there's sales tactics within real estate. You're going to learn mm -hmm. sales tactics, negotiation skills. You're going to learn all that throughout Ignite. Ignite is 12, tw excuse me, Ignite is 12 classes of everything you ever want to know that you never learned in real estate school because real estate school teaches you nothing about how to do real estate. Okay, can we just speak, speak freely, right? It teaches you how to pass a test, maybe after a few times, and nothing you actually need that's going to help you be successful. Ignite has been created to give you exactly what you need to know from how do you find business? What do you say? Where do you put them? Like, okay, I have all these people. What do I do with them? Where do they go? How do I follow up? What happens with them? Right? How do you negotiate? How do you work with buyers? How do you work with sellers? How do you close deals? So the 12 classes are exactly what you always wanted to know that you might not have known to help you be successful. And the majority of agents who truly tap into Ignite, meaning you not just take the train, you don't just take the training, but then you take action after every training. Those agents, after four weeks, 12 classes, four weeks, every one of those agents, I just finished a night class in our market center. Um, now it was local and it was in-house, uh, so we didn't have... 60 some people on there like we do on this. It's so exciting. Every single one of the agents in that Ignite class who took action after every single class and followed the activities, which we're gonna talk about in just a minute, came out of Ignite after four weeks with business. Some of them multiple business. We have one agent who had two closings in 60 days after getting licensed. So I think I see a few people going, wow, exactly. I love the emotions we get on, when we get on Zoom sometimes where people are like, oh, like, oh my God. Um, so it is possible. You just need to do the activities, not just attend the trainings. Absolutely. Right? Mariah, you have your hand raised? Yes, I did. And I don't want to take us off track because, you know, it's, you know, it's two hours long. But I was, based upon the last question that Lisa had, and obviously uh, the role play was that, um, it was stated that there was she was someone whoever she was speaking to was looking to sell whatever. Um, however, what let's say if you know we're giving that genuine call, we're just saying like, hey, how's things going? And the person doesn't necessarily say I'm looking to sell or buy. It doesn't mean that it's not a lead, correct? So how will we go about like, hey, you, hey, how, what's your email? Whatever additional information we would need in order to put them into the database because they never mentioned they want they're looking to sell or buy right now, but we still want to you know still follow up with them because that could be a potential down the line? Fantastic question. And that is absolutely a potential down the line because every single person we come in contact with 
is going to look to buy, sell, or invest, or know somebody looking to buy, sell, or invest every three to seven years. Real estate's the one thing we can actually count on consistently, right? Um, so to answer your question, um, do you want to? So yeah, so <clears throat> yeah, so just even with that, from what the script that Alana just had, you can also uh, look at here and say, "Don't fear your spirit." You can just practice the forward. So even if they're not looking to buy within the next month or so, or three months, six months, or sell in the next year or so, if you're following four, which forward is an acronym where we see family, occupation recreation and dreams. If you just have that just engaging conversation with them, and then even if you are updating your database, or if you're just looking to reach out so you can just stay top of mind, if you follow and practice for it, just ask how the family's doing. How's work? How's everything going? How's the softball games going with your daughter? You know, recreation. Okay, great. Do you still golf? Do you still fish? All right. Is the water still nice? Usually in September and October. Okay, great. You still give it up at 5 a.m.? Great. You won't catch me, but great thing that you're doing that, doing it. Uh, so, and then dreams, just like, what, what, you know, what's your next step? What, what's your quarter one looking like? Or, hey, how's that going? Are, are you still looking to uh, get your kids in school? Are you still looking to uh, your son or your daughter still getting to college? Okay, great. When are they going? When's the next semester? Okay. And then, of course, with college students, and we you definitely know this a lot. <laughs> They're going to need a care package, right? Mm -hmm. So then they can even send your care package off to the kids. I'm like, okay, great. When do they come home? All right, great. We'll have a great Christmas care package so they can take some snacks and some goodies back to school. You're still staying top of mind. And then somewhere along the line, when of course it, it invites you and it's safe to do so, then you're saying, hey, you know, just want to make sure that I have all the information because, you know, I am in real estate and I do want to make sure that you have all the most uh, accurate market information. Or if you need any real estate needs, I want to be able to provide for you. So I just want to make sure that I have the most uh, effective and efficient number to reach you at or and or your email uh, what's best for you. Then, of course, that's after we've had spent maybe 15, 20 minutes talking about everything else, because now you have invited that conversation to happen. You invited them in to do that. So that's another uh, great way to um, kind of break that ice and get that way. I love that. Just breaking that right down, that question just kind of laid out this Ford method, right? We're, we're building conversations for future business, right? I've never said that before. So I kind of want to listen to this recording again and hear that back. Um, we have never, so, we're building conversations, deeper relationships for future business. 80% of the people you talk to today are going to need your help in the future. Follow-up is very key. We're going to talk about systems in just a minute regarding how to help you with follow-up. And just add one other caveat to that or one other slinky onto that is When you're talking to people and you're making it conversational and you're, you're truly care, like, let me just learn about you. Let's, let's, I want to learn about you. How, you know, do you have kids? How many kids? Oh, wow, like, what do you, what do you, you know, what do you do? Occupation, right? And then if they're not ready or they don't know anybody who's ready and you're still trying to capture their information App, you have permission, absolutely ask and say, listen, I, you never know when you're going to come across somebody who might need some assistance. You never know when you might need um, just some referrals on roofers, plumbers, cleaning people, yard people. You know, we have a, I have a wealth of database, which by the way, you do. And if you don't have it, you actually do. And it's in your office with your other agents asking people who've been in the business for referrals. And it's also a thing called Yelp. Great resource. So, hey, I'd love to be a resource to you. What's the best email for you so I can stay in touch? And I'm glad you say that. Speaking of resource, I'm glad you said that. That goes back to the SOI with the sphere of influence. It doesn't necessarily just have to be real estate. If you know someone who, for example, um, someone's looking for a DJ, you know, some, hey, I, have, I know someone who's a DJ. I, of course, they'll do your daughter's party. Or, hey, I know someone who has a detailing company if you want to check them out. Or, hey, I know someone who cleans out gutters. It's about that time of the year. So it's fall. So, you know, leaves are going to start clogging up on there. 
I have somebody in mind. Just give me a call and I'll make sure I can, you get that information. Come from value. I love that. Come from value. Come from contribution. Learn what their needs are. You know, if someone's like, yeah, I'm not looking to do anything. I don't know anybody. Okay. Are you, you know, do you currently rent or own? Oh, you, you own. Is, are you in your forever house right now? Simple questions like that. In real estate, this is the one thing you get out of today's class. Fantastic. In real estate, we have to change our mindset going from instant gratification, going from instant gratification to future business. Real estate is not instant gratification. Nothing happens overnight. Everything we do shows up in 90 days. The reason we're having night after dark right now, October 26, yep. is because all of you are going to put things into action right now that you're going to start out January with business. Now, you're going to find business along the way, but who wants a closing in January? Who wants to kick off after the holidays with a check? People are like, I do some that like, yes. I say check and money, and all of a sudden I see people's eyes on Zoom like, what? Right. What? Money? <laughs> what? Huh? Um, but what we do now is our January. So I'm so excited all of you have, after a long day, tuned in to work on your business and learn this. So let's uh, we're gonna switch gears right now. Sure. Can we um, stop the share? Absolutely. Oh, look at that. I have a whole button up there. Yeah. <laughs> learning to, oh, I have a mouse again. This is fantastic. <laughs> Love technology. All right. So I talk, we talk a lot about action, okay? And we could sit here and talk until eight o'clock at night, which by the way, we do have a lot of material we're gonna go through, right? A lot of material, short amount of time. But right now, let's get into action. Here's what I mean by that. We're gonna rip off the Band-Aid. So for people who've been in the business for over a year, a few years, this may be a this may be um, a little easier for you for people who just got licensed, you know, yesterday. This may it, it did for me. It might not for you. It did for me. It may feel a little uncomfortable, right? But I'm gonna promise you this. I don't promise a lot of things in my life. I will promise you this: nothing bad at all will come from what we're about to do. Only actually positive things are going to happen. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into breakout rooms. Okay. We're going to put you guys in breakout rooms in those breakout rooms. Um, you're going to keep yourself on mute, but you're going to pick up your phone and you're going to start dialing or texting It's 2021. We'll go with the times dialing or texting. Although, okay. I'm going to say this right now, just because it's a little pet peeve of mine. People need voice-to-voice -voice connection, right? They really do, right? So I highly recommend just calling somebody and, and saying hi. So pick up the phone. You're going to call or text. And you're going to use the Ford method. So if it's, how are they? How have they been? How's the family? What have they been up to? And if there's an opening, meaning they come back and ask you the same question, or what have you been up to these days? For all of you who are dual career, meaning you have another job and you're in real estate, you are not allowed to talk about your other job at all. That job does not exist to grow your real estate business. The only thing I want you to answer with is something real estate related. Right? Oh, I got in real estate. I'm so excited. Or yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm putting my... I've, I've been super crazy busy putting my business plan together for my real estate business for 2022. Or yeah, you know what? I'm in this great class right now and our instructor is making us call people. <laughs> By the way, that's a great one. It works all the time, all right? The time. Use your personality in this. So bring up real estate in some fashion if it warrants it, if you're comfortable with it. Right now we're getting used to making these calls and having conversations again. It's a lost start. So any questions before we do this? We're going to do this for about 
nine minutes, 10 minutes? Yeah, 10 minutes will be great. We're gonna do this for 10 minutes. And Jack and I are gonna be popping into the different rooms, just kind of see what's happening, okay? So again, you're gonna go into rooms. You're gonna keep yourself on mute. And keep your cameras on. Keep your cameras on. Pick up the phone, smile and dial, have some great conversations. And afterwards, we're gonna come back and I wanna see how many successful real estate conversations came up. Last class I taught in Ignite, I only had 11 people in the class. We have, what do we have right here? We have 56. 56. I had 11 people in the Ignite class I just talk, taught in our market center. And eight of them came back with a referral or future potential business. Eight of them. I think with 56 people here, we might be able to, to beat eight. I believe so. You guys think so? I'm a very competitive person. Can we beat the number eight? I we see some head nods. Okay. Yeah. Any questions um, before we get started? Are we going to call that one person? Oh, you're going to keep dialing until you get someone on the phone. And then you're going to have that conversation for a few minutes. By the way, preface the conversation with, oh, hey, just reaching out. I am in a class right now. That way they know that they can't talk to you for an hour. Okay. That way it also makes it easy if they keep talking to say, it's so funny. I see people smiling like, you know what I mean? That way, if they keep talking, be like, oh my God, my instructor is getting us back in the room. I got to go. I'll call you back. Okay. And we're going to be the ones that we're breaking you out into groups right now. Uh, the system does it automatically for us. And by automatic, I mean, Jack is working his tech magic and making it happen. Gotcha. Cool. All right. So we're going to start now. And then you should have been invited to a room. So you can go ahead and hop in there now. And we will see you all in about 10 minutes. So that'll be 7.04 and all rooms are open. All right. Can't wait to hear some of the successes that we had. I know. Oh, so I know, I'm so excited. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, everybody's kind of coming back in. Just gonna wait till the other half. Oh yeah, screen, all little, all little boxes are just popping up on the screen. Okay, now they're all flowing in. Yeah, there, there, yeah, we, there right. we go. Yeah, okay, now it's, everyone's closed out. All right, okay, awesome. We still have people on phones. This is lovely. All right. So you really can't end that quickly, especially since I'm a texter on text, but you know, that just goes on and on and on and on. And on. I know. So, uh, Mariah, you took yourself off of mute. Can I ask you a question? Yes. How was it? Can you share it was a good. story? It was good. So the mo the two people that I did reach out to, of course, I'm texting, so it's kind of, you got to work your way into it. It doesn't go as quickly. Um, But both asked, like, hey, what you been up to? I'm like, oh, I'm in this class. What class you in? Real estate. You know, I'm trying, you know, 2022 is my year. I'm going to build up my brand. So that's how it's going. In. <laughs> I saw the one minute warning. I said, oh, I'm about to run out of time. <laughs> However, guess what you get to do? What do I get to do? Put them in my database. Okay, yes, sneak wow. review. We're gonna talk about that in just a minute. Um, you get the gold star right now. Okay. <laughs> um, what you get to do is follow up with them, right? Yes. You planted this little seed, you created this little curiosity, right? And then whether it's eight o'clock tonight, which I don't talk to people after eight o'clock at night because I am right. done, I'm watching Netflix, okay? With my glass <laughs> of wine. However, tomorrow, not next week, not the week after, not six years from now, tomorrow, reach out to them again. Be like, okay, listen, I know I cut you off short. I was in this class. Let me tell you all about this. And then you, that opens the door, ask them for a referral. Okay. Or ask them if they have any real estate needs. Okay. Love that. Let's hear from a few more of you. And by the way, feel free to raise your hand, put it in chat your successes, right? If you don't want to speak up, you're in a location, you can't throw it in the chat box. Thank you so much for sharing, Mariah. All right. So we have two, nope, three hands up. Three hands up. Okay. So I don't want to get the wrong, the name wrong. Is it a, is it Amanda? Yeah, I'm Amanda. My husband's men, but he's putting the baby to bed. Um, nice. <laughs> he'll be back. So I reached out to one of our friends and, um, you know, he bought something within the last year, but just reaching out to him, trying to, um, you know, see if he had anybody in mind that 
that needed a real estate agent. And he says he doesn't have one friend buying, but he already has a realtor. Um, and so I tried to, um, you know, reinforce that, well, if you do end up wanting to sell your house or you do want to, or you do know anybody that's going to be buying or selling soon, please remember us. But I was thinking, you know, what kind of like response should we give if they're like, oh, they already have a realtor. Like, how do I maybe lure them away or ask them to just send them my way anyways? So great question. Um, you will get that, right? People know real estate agents. People have friends who are real estate agents, family members. Number one, never bad talk anybody. Just never bad talk about anybody. I don't know if that was a proper sentence, but we're going to go with it because it's seven o'clock at night. Because <laughs> you don't know who they are, how close they are to the person. Just be like, oh my God, I'd love that you know someone in real estate. Listen, I'm also in real estate with the world's largest, most successful real estate brokerage. Um, I would love to be a resource to you, right? Never hurts to get a second opinion. And you never know when you may be looking at something in a different location that maybe I'm, you know, I am strong at that maybe they're not. Lots of variables there. I'd love to keep in touch and be that resource. Right, so you're just kind of keeping the door open. And it's, again, it's kind of like the doctor's office. Second opinions, they work, right? <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Is it uh, Leslie? Yes. Perfect. So I reached out to a family member um, and he actually, which is shocking because I haven't spoken to him in a while, but he's actually looking to buy, explain to him that I had just got my license in real estate and I was just checking around with everybody to, you know, see if they had any real estate needs. And he said, Oh, good. I was just saying, I'm going to get a house. So that was a good thing. So he said he'll be ready within six months. Oh my God. Hold on. I need a reaction. I need a reaction. There we go. Woo right. Huge win, huge win. So I want to give some, Leslie, may I, may I give you a little bit of uh, guidance on the next steps? And then we're going to get yeah. uh, Alvin next. Is that okay, Leslie? So yeah. I want everybody to pay attention to this. The person said six months in real estate when we're talking to buyers, the rule of thumb is whatever time frame a buyer gives you, cut it in half. Over 86% of buyers, whatever time frame they give you, they will buy in half the time. So if Leslie waits four months from now to follow up with this person, what's going to happen? He's going to be working with someone else. Yep. Leslie's going to call and this is how the conversation is going to go. And by the way, you're all going to experience this at some point. Oh my God. Yeah. We're so excited. We just settled in the house last week. Yay. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> Yay. Right. But we're the only one. We have to kick ourselves. We have to look in the mirror and be, be true. We didn't follow up properly. So what Leslie's going to do is number one, put them in her database, which if you're with Keller Williams, you have a database for you. It's called Command. I don't care what database you use, all right? We got the regional tech trainer here. I don't care what database you, you, you use, as long as you use something. And a Rolodex or Post-it notes or index cards or a piece of paper is not a database. Okay. So you all with, with Keller Williams, you do have commands. So she's going to tonight, add that contact tonight, add that contact to command. If you're not sure, if you're not sure how to do that tomorrow, Leslie's going to call someone in her market center to ask for help on how to do that. Um, and then Leslie's going to set a task, which is a big old button in command says task um, to remind her to call them in a week. Actually, no, by this Friday, by Friday, to ask them more information about when they're looking to buy, what they're looking for. Start capturing some of that information now. Start having that conversation now and why it's important for them to buy. Right? And then Leslie's going to reach out to them every single month because three months from now, 
probably actually two months from now, they're going to be ready to start looking. Leslie, any questions on that? Was that helpful? It was. I wrote everything down. Awesome. Awesome. Alvin. Hey, how are you doing? Um, I just got off the phone with um, a family member as well. And he's actually, when I called him, he took a moment um, from his Zoom meeting that he was on with his fraternity. And he actually referred me to uh, one of his fraternity brothers while I was on the phone with him. So his fraternity brother is going to be calling me after I guess they finished their Zoom meeting. And um, so I'm looking forward to that. So I'm going to see what he's looking for and what I can do for him. That is so awesome. exciting. Congratulations. Yes. Thank and you. may I add one thing to that? I am the queen of adding one thing. Okay. <laughs> is that okay? Yes. Go right ahead. All right. So you said he's going to be calling you. Yes. What I want you to do is make a note because if tomorrow you have not heard it, heard it from him, if you haven't heard from him by tomorrow at, I'll say five o'clock at night, okay, 530, depending on your schedule, right? you are going to reach out to get that person's information and call them. Okay. So whoever you need to reach out to, to get that person's info, to be able to call them because right. people forget to call us, they get busy and we need to be the ones to reach out. Okay. Makes sense. You good with, you good with that? Yes, makes sense. All right. I'm high-fiving you through Zoom. That is awesome. Thank First you. High five. I know, right? All right. And Lisa. Hi. So I have sort of like two questions. So um, I texted people. So I was able to hit a couple of people at a time. And I think the one person that responded back, well, more than one responded back, but the one person I want to talk about is, uh, I think I went too long on the caring because uh, I, I guess I was, you know, just taking too long trying to figure out, you know, hey, what's going on? How are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. And then then they just texted back and say, hey, I'm putting my kids to bed. Hey, but I have a family member that's looking for looking for a home. Um, here's their number. You know, talk to you later. Hmm. Didn't get the person's name. Didn't get a updated email address for the person. So... I was like, okay, they're putting their kids to bed. Do I text back and say, hey, but what's your family member's name? You know, so, you know, kind of like, like that. So that was one. And then two, as I was scrolling through my phone, I came across some people that I was wondering if it was appropriate. Um, so like my dentist, um, the girl in the HR department at my job, you know, uh, so I was like, no, probably shouldn't reach out to those people, you know, so those are my two things. All right. So again, going to add something. I'm going to, I'm going to give you a little coaching guidance right now. Ready? All right. So everybody listen to this. Number one is they send you a text that opens the door. If they send you a text that says you were allowed to text me back. Right. Um, so you can absolutely text them back. And if they're putting their kids to bed, their kids will be in bed by eight. You can text them at eight. I wouldn't text much later than that because people, you know, depending on who they are, and you gotta kind of know people, right? Some people don't like that. Um, personally, I would absolutely shoot them a quick text back. Um, just saying, hey, would love to get more information, help them out. Um, can you send me their name and information? Right, so I can reach out to them tomorrow. 100%. Second thing you mentioned is, do I, do I talk to my dentist? What, what, do I talk to the person in HR where I work? I don't know. What's the answer to that? Yes. <laughs> Everybody's a potential client. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Yes. yes. Uh, Larry shared in the chat. Uh, he said, my dentist has been my top referral source so far. Everybody needs our help. Everybody needs your help at some point in buying, selling, or investing, or they know somebody who does. 
business is everywhere. I do want to touch on one question that was asked in the chat. It was a fantastic question that I think resonates with a lot of people. What do I do when I don't really have family members or friends close by? So two answers to that. Number one is anybody you know anywhere in the entire world, you still wanna call, have the conversation, connect with them and let them know you're in real estate because referrals are powerful. It was over 851 Keller Williams locations and we're in 49 different countries. We're everywhere, okay? We own the world. All right. So it is very easy to connect with an agent in another state. Right. My parents live in Florida. My brother lives in California. My cousins are in California, Florida, Dallas, and Connecticut. Right. I think I have two friends in Maryland who are not in real estate. My best friends live in North Carolina and South Carolina. Right. In 20. 18 or 19, I'm forgetting the year because when 2020 happened, I lost all concept of time. In one of those years, 2018, I made $22,000 just on referrals. What that means is other people were doing work and I made $22,000. By me simply saying, hey, Jack, my friend needs a house in Upper Marlboro. Can you help her out? Absolutely. Awesome. Cha-ching. Okay. Just make sure you're lining them up with a good agent and people in your mark center and through this can help you. Now, my second answer to your question is um, there is an Ignite class that's going to be coming up all about finding business in different ways. And there's literally 50 different ways to find business. But I will share a little secret that Jack and I learned on Friday. I don't know if you know where even where I'm going with this. So this this what I'm about to tell you guys is not in the material. You can't find this in your packet. It is not out there. Oh. But it is the best kept secret about finding business. You guys ready? No? Yeah? Okay, I see a few head nods. I'm like, what is it? Okay. I want you all to think about what are things in your life that you're passionate about, that you love, that maybe you stop doing, right? I love wine. I go to wineries all the time. I do wine events. I volunteer at wine festivals. I'm a wino. Okay. <laughs> I also like dancing. I like salsa dancing. Maybe people don't know that about me. Yeah. Okay. So what is it in your life that as you grew up, yeah, I'm sorry to say, as we grow up, we, for, we, we lose ourselves, right? As you grew up, you stopped doing that you want to get back to. And here's the great thing, start doing it again and start doing it again with other people who have that same passion. So if you love to play golf, I do not like play golf, but we'll use that one. If you like to play golf and you go golfing with different groups of people, that's, that's the key to this. Can't be the same exact two people every time. This doesn't work with that. If you go golfing with different groups of people three times a week, and let's say each of those group, I'm gonna attempt to do math in my head for easy math. Let's say each of those groups is five people. Now you just golfed with 15 different people. What do you think happens on the golf course? Do you play silently throughout all the different holes and never talk? No, you're chatting it up, right? You're having a conversation. And you also have something in common. So your connection's already there. And somewhere in that conversation, what you do, meaning real estate, not your other job, leave that at home. Real estate will come out. All right. So figure out something you're passionate about and start doing it. If you have a significant other at home, though, please let them know what you're doing and why. <laughs> because you do not. <laughs> <laughs> want to get in trouble okay let them know oh my god early give them give them the plan give it a whole just ask it, them what do they think so there's no surprises yeah or anything yeah i i used to my my first year in real estate um i started actually my second year i started um volunteering at wine festivals and pouring wine and doing all these things with wine as much as i possibly could and go into wine events and meet up 
Okay, number one, my husband thought I was like an alcoholic. I'm not, okay, it's just tastings. <laughs> the second thing is, he's like, when are you working? What are you doing? He works at a hospital, he doesn't understand. So I had to explain to him the results that I'm looking to get out of it and what that means in terms of our financials. Then he was like, oh, go. Yeah, earn the bacon. Absolutely, get wine and earn the bacon. So find something you're passionate about, go do it with other people who are passionate about it. You're gonna have way more fun and that's how you build your network here in Maryland or DC or Virginia or Pennsylvania or Delaware, wherever you're located right now. Hopefully it answered that question a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna go back, we're gonna share the screen. Push the play button, right? Okay, you do it. You do it. <laughs> so let's talk a little about tools. Actually, I'm going to turn this over to our regional tech trainer um, to talk about some tools because leverage is key. And by the way, if if you don't know this, you all have a personal assistant that's technically free. It's your little monthly fee free mark center in your pocket. And it is called command. Speaking of tech, get my tech set up. Oh, weird. You all can't see this right now, but he is setting up some tech stuff on my computer and it's kind of cool. All right. So, right, set out. And then, yep, there we go. All right. So, this is the vision of Keller Williams Technology here. All right. The vision of Keller Williams is to be a real estate company of choice for the agents and their customers. Not just only us, but for the customers as well. One of the ways that Keller Williams is doing that is by making everything easier, both you for the agent and for the client. So let's look at everything here in this uh, tools that needs to be successful. You know, we have the KW app and your website. Okay. You see virtual, that's virtual consumer. Then you see virtual agent, which is command in the middle. And then virtual market center, you see here it says command MC, okay? And now you see all the three bubbles kind of connect to each other like a Venn diagram. You see your lead accelerators between your app and command. So again, you have your KW app and your website that you're sharing with everyone with your web link. So that again, when you are gaining your clients as registered users to your app and to your website, they now have become registered users and generated leads automatically added into your database in command. So that's why you see that connection there between the virtual consumer and the virtual agent. Now, the Connect, which is KW Connect, which is our educational tool that we have between KW Command and Command MC, which is for our market center leadership. So then that's how we stay, no pun intended, connected that way. <laughs> All right. So then, of course, you see Kelly, which is the AI, then Keller Cloud is basically the cloud. So, again, when you're logging into command for those who are uh, Keller Williams Associates for guests. Hello. Uh, when you're logging into your command website, of course, that's when you're looking at your username and password and it says welcome to Keller Cloud. Then at the top, you see all of our other services that we have Keller Mortgage, Keller Covered, Keller Office and uh, Keller Manage. All right, command. Again, this is your, and now you're looking at the screen here, and this is pretty much your home screen to command. This is your integrated end-to-end -end Keller Cloud platform for running your business and growing your business. Now, what's our favorite word that we have been using all night? And what we as in real estate business, we always love, love, love to hear leverage. Mm. All right. Good word. Leverage. All right. Command and KW technology is not the boogeyman. So long gone are they, oh, I'm not tech savvy. Oh, I don't know, know what I'm doing or it's kind of hard to navigate. No, you learn the system so the system can work for you because it is your virtual assistant, okay? So within command, this is the uh, saying like, okay, if you want to log into command and if you look here at the home screen, remember as Alana just brought up earlier, task. So you see the very first applet you see on the home screen is task. 
So anytime you're creating a task, anytime you're adding a task, whether it's the follow up with your leads, whether it's the schedule or stage or anything that's related to your business that you need to do, as long as you have it on your task list, it's going to show up. As soon as you log into command, that's the very first thing you can see. So it can stay top of mind so that you can always be on point with your task here. Okay. Database. This is another thing that we were mentioning before, database. And I love, and then I just want to point this out here before we move on, Alana. I love the fact that the phone is the very first thing we see. Mm -hmm. Just as the exercise we just went through together, that's your that's that is the database. That's that's square one. Mm -hmm. Your database starts with your phone. Yep. All right. And let's do a little and let's do a little exercise because I know your phones are still with you all. So let's go ahead and do the contact exercise. Some of you all may know what's going to happen. But if you're an iPhone or Android user, let's go to your phone and your contacts book. All right. Once you get to your contacts, let's scroll all the way to the bottom. And see how many contacts we have in our database. All right, so just pop into the chat how many contacts you see on, in, uh, excuse me, in your phone. All right, 71, 632, we have 7,000, wow. 700, 381, okay, mm. 593. Hmm, what opportunity do you see here in the chat? Oh my God. <laughs> What opportunity do I not see? Um, so again, we say numbers tell a story and in real estate, we love to measure things. Not we being Jack and I, we being the nation and these market research real estate gurus who are really, really smart. And one of the things that's been measured uh, year over year for the past few years is when we work our database properly, we should yield a 6% result. So I'm gonna pick out a number on the screen. Give me a number that you see on the screen, Jack. Okay, so I'm gonna go with, oh, wow. I'm gonna go with Woody's, 3,279. Holy smokes, okay. You have me beat, sir. That might be, I don't know if that's the winner on here. We'll have to take a look. So I'm gonna times that. So 3,279 times 0.06, so 6% is 196.74. Now we don't, we can't really have a 0.74 person. That would be kind of odd. Be like a person with like no arms or something, I don't know. Well, they're, they're like three fourths there. They're not all the way there. We're missing a quarter. For those who don't know me in person, a lot of people would now make a short joke because I am that 0.74. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I'm just gonna say 196. Woody with all of those, contacts in his phone has a hundred and ninety six potential pieces of business in 2022 not 2023 2022 what that means is that's the amount of people that when tapped into properly letting them know you're in real estate asking them if they have any real estate needs or who they know 196 either has a need next year by the way, next year, January, December, okay, 12 months, either has a need next year or knows somebody who does. Amazing. That's huge. Yeah. That's huge. Wow. So we're expecting to have a, a, all of you all who, and thank you all who have uh, put your contacts in the chat. By the numbers we're seeing here, we're predicting and manifesting and affirming you all will have a amazing 2022. Thank you so much. And then, of course, lastly, on this slide here, you see the command database where we see the contacts applet, what it looks like on the home screen. And then also we see that uh, Josh Nolan, who's the example on here, has that L next to their name. When you're in command and you have anybody marked as a lead or you start to get registered users come into your website or from your website, I should say, or your app, landing pages and more, then they will be marked as a lead. All right. All right. So what was that formula again? So the formula is taking whatever that number is that you, you looked at in your phone. So let's say, for example, it's 400. 
and then you times it by 6%, so times 0 0.06. So 400 times 0 0.06 equals 24. So that means someone with 400 contacts has 24 pieces of business sitting in their phone for 2022. Awesome. Yep. Thank you for that follow up. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thank you everyone for sharing. All right, Alana. All right, I'm going to skip through just a few things here because we talked about them already. All right, before we get into, ooh, sorry. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, before we get into some activities that you're going to do throughout all of Ignite, um, I want to add something because this came up in the last Ignite I taught and it was eye opening to me as an instructor. So after every class, by the way, you're going to get an email um, with bullet points on what you went over the reminders of your daily activity, the recording of the video, and also a feedback form. Please, 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 there's 53 people in here right now. Please take a minute, and by the way, it's literally five questions, it takes a minute. Please take a minute to fill out that feedback form because that's how we improve this and keep growing it to help all the future agents who take it down the road, okay? So what I'm about to share with you came out of the last Ignite and the feedback form. One of the questions that an agent requested in the feedback form is, we're taught all about our sphere. We went through this thing called a Ford method with family, family, occupation, recreation, dreams. But I have all these people, you know, I have 300 people, I have 400 people, I have 3,000 people. How do I start? Where do I even get started? All right. So I want to just take a quick minute and give you a really simple, easy way to break down your day. Okay. Our phones are alphabetized. The greatest way to start is tomorrow. Don't scroll through your phone looking and thinking, who am I going to reach out to? Just start with your A's. And then the next day, move to your B's. Because again, our phones are alphabetized. And maybe you have a lot of B's. So maybe the next day after that, you continue your B's. And then you move to C's, et cetera, et cetera. It may take you 30 days to get through everybody. It may take you 90 days. What is going to take you 90 days? It may take you 90 days to get through everybody. But what that means is you are making what we call a touch point by phone calls, voice to voice, or text, or connecting on social media. That also works. Okay to let people know you're in real estate, see how you can help them, build a relationship and put them in your database. And whether it takes you 30 days, 90 days, or if you have 7,000 people, it might take you five months. Through that time, you're going to start finding business. It is that simple. There's no magic wand in real estate. The more people you talk to, the more success you're gonna have. That's the secret. Awesome. Cool. All right. So one thing, homework. All right. We talk about homework in, in, um, in real estate. Throughout Ignite, what successful agents and all of you are challenged to do, your activity, is what we call the daily 10-4. What that means is you're going to grow your database, adding 10 new contacts. Now, here's the thing. If you haven't put anybody in your database yet, that one's gonna be super easy because if you have 300 people and whether you get 300 people in there in one day through the use of help with your market center or whether you purposefully like, I'm gonna to talk to 10, I'm gonna add the 10. I'm gonna to talk to 10, I'm gonna add the 10. Both ways work, but adding 10 new contacts to your database daily, speaking with 10 people daily, okay? Voice to voice, text to text. I'm going to skip the next one just for now. I'm going to come back to it. Knowing your market by previewing 10 homes per week, right? Become the expert in your market by previewing homes. That's the fastest way for you to become an expert. Go look at houses, not to mention it's so much fun. Bring a friend, bring your partner, spouse. Bring someone with you. If you have kids, bring your kids. Go view homes. Best way to do it on the weekend, drive around, stop in open houses, right? Go and look at some homes. And finally, another lost art, 
write 10 notes to people you recently contacted. Handwritten notes. Oh. Mm. Everything we get in the mail these days is bills and junk or extended car warranty announcements, right? Or refinance announcements 20 times a day in like 20 different envelopes <laughs> saying it's really important, right? Who remembers actually getting a birthday card in the mail? Like that old fashioned thing called a birthday card? I'll say that grandma. Yep, right? Yeah. Doesn't that feel good? Absolutely. Like that birthday card in the mail. So how would it feel if you personally received a handwritten card from somebody? Probably put a smile on your face. So think outside the box. Many, few people, this is a lost art. Write notes, right? Go to Target, go on Amazon. I'm not disclosing where to go, but go somewhere by a huge, they don't need to be expensive or beautiful. Mine is literally a box I bought at Target for like 10 bucks. They are colorful index cards with an envelope. They are not fancy in any way, but it's a box of a hundred. Okay. Awesome. James, you have something? Yeah, I just wanted to, to add on that. Um, I just recently switched auto insurance to State Farm. The agent literally lives right around the corner from me. And um, we're actually kind of working together to, to grow our business. We switched our auto, our home, umbrella, everything in State Farm. And she actually mailed to us. And we've been texting, emailing, calling each other. But she sent me a little postcard from Baltimore with a handwritten thank you. Mm. And, you know, I got it. I'm like, that's cool. I don't have to throw this away. It's not a bill. <laughs> right. Didn't that feel amazing when you are like, oh, my God, somebody actually took the time to write me something. Right. And guess what he just did just now? He gave a plug for his State Farm person, right? State Farm is creating a raving fam, fan out of James. That's what we wanna create. We wanna create these raving fans out there so they start telling, the, telling our story for us. Oh my God, you have a real estate need? My God, you have to work with James. He's awesome. Like you should see what he, he sends me a birthday card every year. It's so sweet. You need to work with James. That's the buzz you want. That's what we're creating. Okay. Any questions on these daily 10 4? Hey, thank you so much for sharing, James. I have a quick question. I'm like literally oh. raising my hand. Sorry. Oh, all good. <laughs> um, so, in regards to like um, the, uh, the address, so even though we go through like our database, obviously we have the phone number, but we don't have the address to actually send out a handwritten note to someone. Like when we're having this conversation, this forward conversation, am I supposed to act like, oh, hey, by the way, can you give me your address? <laughs> like, how do you go about getting that address? Yeah, great question, right? The more information we have, the easier it is to actually do the things we want to do um, and market to people easier and faster. Easiest way is to simply say, hey, Mariah, um, you know, I'd love to send you market updates, keep you updated on what's happening out there. Honestly, just kind of, it's only coming from me, nobody else. Um, where are you living these days? Right? Love to get your address. The beautiful thing about that also is as soon as you put the address and add it to the contact and command, then their neighborhood is already added to them. So when you're ready to start smart plans or send them market data, then it's already added to that particular contacts card. Absolutely. James also said white pages. Ah. Stock people. Oh, brilliant thing. I cannot take credit. There's an agent that I coached for a few years and she, she did this. It took her a year. It took her the entire year of 2020, no, 2019 to complete this. She already had everybody in her database from her phone. She was growing it consistently. So she meant she was re-adding people all the time because she talked to everybody under the sun, typically at grocery stores, okay? She was adding addresses as she was getting them, but she made it a point every week to spend about 30 minutes, maybe 45, going to Facebook 
and looking up however many people she could do in 45 minutes, people's birthdays, and then putting those into the information as well. So now we're getting the address, we're getting the birthday. Everybody's birthday is on Facebook if they're on Facebook because we all publicize everything, right? Our world, our world is out there for the public these days. Um, yeah, so birthdays, addresses, and don't, again, don't be afraid to ask because you're not asking for the purpose of selling them something. You're asking them for the purpose of providing them value and helping them when they have a need, right? We got to remember that. Okay, we're going to switch gears really quick. So we want to do, I want to do one more activity with you. Okay, wait, before we move on, uh, Raquel, you have something? Yeah, um, so my mom is a hairdresser. Um, she loves to tell people that I'm a realtor, which I love as well. Um, but these are, um, I, I call them my second market because I don't really know them like that. Um, my mom will like, you know, talk me up and I, I pre again, I appreciate that, but I don't really know how to approach these people. So what would be a good way for me to just, you know, break the ice with them and try and like, I guess, get their info in a much more smoother way. And you, just to make sure I'm hearing you correctly, who, who was the... My mom, it's a hairdresser. She's a hairdresser. Oh, okay. Um, so there's a, there's a bunch of different ways you can get creative with this. Number one, business cards, leave them there. Put them on the hairdresser stand, make sure you're front and center, right? Um, teach your, educate your mom how to talk about you. Okay. Here's the thing. Hairdressers have the greatest conversation skills ever, okay? My hairdresser can have conversations for eight hours a day with eight different people, and I have no idea how she does it. And I'm a real estate. Okay. Um, and I would also say this, because you're, you know, if you're not there all the time with your mom and you're leaving your information, educate her on making sure they're like, hey, my daughter, people talk about houses, right? Hey, let me make sure you have my daughter's information. I know I do your hair, but hey, we don't just do hair. Here's Raquel. She's going to help you in the future with whatever you need for real estate, right? That help, did that answer the question? Yes, thank you. Sorry, I was just taking notes. Yeah, absolutely. All right, All right. Uh, Lisa, then Woody. Yes, I just had a quick question. For number four, where it said, know your market, do you recommend knowing a specific market area or a bunch? Oh, great question. Mm -hmm. um, so the first market you should get to know is the one that you're local to. Right, whether it is your close yeah, the door, you. sorry. Uh, whether it is we're in a market center, they start vacuuming. <laughs> um, you know, whether it's your specific neighborhood or a neighborhood near you or just your community, um, just because you're already familiar with it. Uh, if you don't like where you live and you want a, maybe a higher price range. Right. So I know someone who lives in an area where, you know, they're, well, I'll say their market, their, where they are right now, the price range is around the 200 mark and they want to, they don't have a lot of time to spend in real estate because they work dual career. So they want to make the most out of their time money wise. Time is money, right? So they ended up finding a market close by where their average price range was around 350. And started networking there, getting to know that community, getting out there. Just so y'all know, we are local as real estate agents. If you are licensed in the state of Maryland, DC, wherever you're licensed, we are local to wherever we want to drive to. I live in Howard County, but I'm local to Annapolis because I'm willing to drive there because I love the price range. Have vehicle, will travel. I'm right. traveling everywhere. I love to travel. So we're local everywhere. So to know your market, I would start around your area. Um, if that's where you want to start, if you want a higher price point or a different type of neighborhood, choose that. 
here's the great part. This is your business. You get to choose. Right. But you don't recommend like knowing everywhere. No. Okay. <laughs> here's the thing. You don't need to know everywhere because you can learn someplace in 30 minutes. If somebody called me right now and said, hey, I really need your help in, uh, what's the place that's far away? Um, White Marsh. Yeah. I don't know White Marsh. I know White Marsh for one thing, and that is the mega bus stop to take me to New York. <laughs> However, I can absolutely say, oh my God, I'd love to help you know the location. Let me know what you're looking for because I can go on Bright MLS and I can go online and learn that area very quickly. So then I'm now an expert. Okay, thank you. Yep, absolutely, great question. Woody? I just wanted to piggyback um, off of Raquel's question. Um, I know she mentioned that, um, and hi Raquel, um, you had mentioned that your mom is a hairdresser. I've been in the hair care industry for almost 24 years. And uh, I'm just gonna tell you right now, they are your warm market. Her clients are your warm market because they automatically love you because they love your mom. So anybody that's connected to your mom, they're going to love you. So one thing that you can do um, is uh, go around lunchtime or morning, you know, in the hairdresser, they're there most of the day anyway, bring a box of Krispy Kreme donuts, attach your business card to it. You got prospects all day long. Um, again, they they they've built up a no like and trust, uh, respect for your mom. You know that only few people touch their head ever. Um, so again, you'll be the one to shake their hand and close the deal on selling them their home um, or their investment property. So I just want to make sure that you're comfortable. They are no longer your cold market. They are your warm market. They love your mom. They love you. And love is a really good word that we're going to use in the real estate business. Um, and they're going to love doing business with you. Thank you. That was so fantastic. That was fantastic. Right? Because you said they had the no like and trust. Because they know you mm -hmm. and they really like you mm -hmm. and they trust you more than likely what? They're going to do business with you. They're gonna, yeah, absolutely. And Woody brought up a great point. Get creative. I was handed a, so I love Halloween. I was handed the other day a inexpensive, cheap little carving kit for pumpkins. It probably cost a dollar, okay? And on it was a business card that said, little Halloween pumpkin-y things on the business card. And it said, carve out some time to send me some referrals. Get it? Uh-huh. People, I am now talking to you about this business card, right? That is sitting on my desk because it was corny, it made me smile, it made me laugh, and obviously memorable because I'm talking to you about it right now. So there's probably something on, by the way, Google is my best friend, okay? I have um, MSG, I have a master's degree in Google, okay? And if you go on Google, this is what I do, this is my little, I'm gonna share a little secret that I don't tell many people. So now I'm telling 52 people, 53 people. I go on Google, not the smartest, but I mean, you know, I'm smart in areas, but I'm not the most creative person sometimes. Type into Google, fun real estate sayings for, you know, hairdressers. Fun real estate Halloween sayings. They're gonna, you're gonna get piles of them. Pick one, right? That resonates with you that puts a smile on your face because if it puts a smile on your face it will put someone on someone else's face and then get creative and have fun with it oh wow thank you james he's uh kindly popped in the chat so here's a good place for sayings <laughs> and ideas all right poppy pop by ideas.com oh my god i need to remember that bookmark save the chat. yes bookmark that <laughs> Thank you so much, James. All right, so we're gonna do one more activity. These questions are so fantastic, but I don't wanna leave without this one activity we're gonna do. And we talked about what to say. We talked about who's our first, first people we're calling. And if you have people out of state, still call them and just know that an Ignite class is coming up to teach you other ways to find business. 
We talked about the database and where to put people to follow up properly. But now let's talk about our schedule. Now, a lot of you are here six to eight o'clock tonight because you work a full-time job. You have something else going on in the day. So you're maybe looking at the screen going, I can't do that. That's not my day. This won't work for me. And that's okay. There's an agent that I worked with for two years. When he first got in the business in 2017, his name is Matt. Um, when he first got in the business, he was a uh, dual career, meaning he worked a full-time job. He was a manager at a telecommunication company. He worked about 60 hours a week as a manager there. He wanted out, he wanted to get into real estate and he was dual career. He also just had a baby who was a few months old. So his time was super limited. He put about 10, he maybe had a good 10 to 15 hours in his entire week, Monday to Sunday, Monday to Sunday, to put into real estate. In those 10 to 15 hours per week, he became really purposeful about having real estate conversations because honestly, that's the only thing that matters. The more people you talk to, the faster you're going to have business. That's it. He became so purposeful that his first year in real estate, he sold 10 houses in 10 months. Mm. So if my math is that's math, a, then that's a, that's a unit a month, right? That's a unit a month, right? A unit is a house. A house is a unit, okay? In his second year in real estate, he sold 10 houses in four months. Oh, and by the way, his first year, six months into being in real estate, he got so purposeful that he was able to quit his job because he saved up, saved up enough money to be able to feel comfortable. Don't go tomorrow and quitting. Don't be like, Alana told me to quit. Don't do it. Unless you have savings for six months, do not do that because you will feel stressed. Okay. But he knew what he needed in savings. He worked purposefully with a schedule and he was able to do that. So if you're sitting at home going, how do I do this? This is about structuring your schedule. So I want you to look at one of the activities I want you to do. And based on time, this is going to be the activity I want you to do tomorrow. So all of you take out either a piece of paper or your phone or wherever you store your calendar. If you don't use a calendar yet, your first activity is to choose and start using a calendar. Your calendar in real estate is going to be your best friend and you cannot, I have worked with over 400 agents, you can not be successful without a calendar. It is not possible. I also tried it my first three months as an agent and failed. I was like, I'm anti-calendar. I have a great memory. I don't need one. I love post-its. Doesn't work. You will fail. Sorry. It's almost eight o'clock. I'm just going to speak free. Is that cool? Right. So activity one, line up what calendar you're going to use. Activity two is look at your week. We're going week by week. You're going to look at the rest of this week. First things you're going to put in there are what I call the non-negotiables. I'm actually going to take this off the screen. Sure. Nope, I didn't take it off the screen. Yeah, you, you did. <laughs> okay. So first thing you're going to put in your calendar are the non-negotiables. The non-negotiables are things that you have to do. I have a full-time job, and if I don't go to the job, I'm going to get fired. That goes in your calendar. I have a dentist appointment or a doctor's appointment or something with the family that I cannot miss. That goes in your calendar. Oh, I have Ignite Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday from six to eight o'clock at night. Non-negotiable goes in your calendar. We call this time blocking. Okay. After those are in your calendar for the week, you're then gonna look at it. Again, we go till Sunday. You're then gonna look at the calendar and you're gonna say, where, where realistically can I put real estate? Okay. And that one real estate item that you're going to put in there on a consistent basis and the activity you're going to do on a consistent basis in that time frame is called lead generation. By the way, the definition of lead generation is having a real estate conversation. That's it. 
right? All of you demonstrated that you did that. People got referrals out of it. You called people, you had a conversation. If you bring up the topic of real estate, you just lead generated. If you are talking to people in line at Panera Bread and real estate comes up, you are lead generating, right? If you are sitting at a bar, have a good friend, he actually built a business by sitting at a bar, no lie. If you are sitting at a bar, talking to the person next to you or the bartender and real estate comes up, you are lead generating. I have a good one for you too. If you're walking around with your uh, business paraphernalia, if you have a Keller Williams mm -hmm. logo, or if you have your company logo, or if you have something marked on your door uh, to your car, or if you have a jacket or a shirt that says, hey, I'm in real estate, or you have your company uh, logo on there, and then the, somebody happens to see a house like, oh, you're in the grocery store, and they say, oh, are you a realtor? Yes, I am. Um, oh my God, it's so funny you brought that up. So the agent I mentioned who went into Facebook and started putting in people's birthdays, her name is Gloria, and she does not leave her house without some real estate gear. Mm. Even if it's a, a magnet, um, there's a bunch of sites out there. One is a uh, houseofmagnets.com. You can just go to Google and say, you know, real estate magnets or real estate um, shirt magnets, I think they're called. There's a lot of sites. Buy it, buy one, buy two, buy three, have fun with them. But she does not leave home without that on, right? Um, or a hat or a shirt or something. And she was standing in line at a grocery store and the line was so long because they were training the person who was doing the checkout. Wow. And so everybody in line started talking about how, why were they training someone during the busiest hours on a Saturday morning in a checkout line at a grocery store, right? And everybody was complaining. Well, the person behind her, true story, the person behind her happened to notice through this conversation, she had on a real estate badge and it said, oh, you're in real estate. Are you around here? Struck up the conversation. Long story short, she walked away with two listings. Mm. Walked away because that person had a house to sell and the person behind her knew somebody with a house to sell. Real estate is everywhere. It's so funny because that's my favorite story to tell and I always forget it. So that like struck my memory. Awesome. Um, okay. So when you look at your calendar, okay. By the way, James, you mentioned business cards. Do not let me forget to give you guys the secret sauce of business cards in about, in about 30 seconds. When you look at your calendar, you're going to put in their real estate time, but I want you to be specific. Meaning tomorrow, if you have two hours blocked off from, you know, five to six, four to six or five to six and eight to eight thirty. I don't really call people around nine. Um, put in there calling my A's and then color coded green for money, right? Structure your calendar to a way that works for you, but you always have to look at it on a weekly basis and say, do I have production related activities in my calendar for real estate. If you look at your week, ask yourself that question. Do I have something in my calendar this week that could lead to a buyer, seller, or investor or a really great referral for the future? If the answer is no, revamp your calendar a little bit. Okay. Any questions on that before I touch on um, business cards? All right, you all are awesome. Okay, so really quick, really quick, little tidbit because James mentioned business cards. Here's your, here's your last bit. Business cards are a gift. The more you hand them out, the more people throw them away. I don't carry business cards anymore. I have my contact information on my phone. If somebody says, oh, do you have a card? Oh my God, let, um, you know what? I, I actually forgot them. Let me, or you know what? I, I do, but not on me today. What I'd like to do, James, is get your information and send you all mine. Here, let me, um, let me, I'll just, I'll just text you my contact information right now. Now, when I text James my contact information, number one, I say, what's your number? Because I have to text him. So I just captured his phone number. And when I send him a text, I'm saying, hey, James, it was great meeting you at Panera Bread. Hope you enjoyed your muffin. Right. Here's all my contact information. Your local real estate consultant, Alana. 
I now have his information in my phone with his name attached to it and he has mine. Now, if you want to, I'm not saying don't use business cards, they are great, but I always like to give it as, oh my God, absolutely. Here, let me get your information. What's the best number for you? What's the best email? Great. And here's mine. So it's a gift for them giving you theirs. It will get you more business every time. All right, let's hear uh, three ahas to close out tonight. What are three things that you took out today to put in your business? All right, and then you can raise your hand. And then uh, if you wanna pop into the chat as well, that's A-OK -okay with us. Any ahas anybody would like to share? Uh, when you talk to buyers and they give you a time frame, cut the time in half. Awesome. Love that. Love that. That's awesome. Thanks, Woody. Anyone else? Don't be a secret agent. That's right, Debbie. Don't be 007. Right. I like the one about how to build your network by finding something you're passionate about and participating in that as a group to build, help build your network. Yes. Awesome. Love that. Thank you so much. Let's hear a... All right. Ritza says, using a calendar to stay organized. And we have bowl all here and there's a bowl wall right behind us. If it does, it's not on your calendar, it does not exist. It's I not... Have to, I have to follow my calendar. If it's not there, I'm like, uh... Oh. Yeah, if it's not in your calendar, it does not exist. Yeah. Love that. Listen, thank you so much for, I know it's a long day and I just thank you so much for truly wanting to grow yourself and grow your business by tuning in to the first night of Ignite. Hope to see every single one of you. Every Ignite class is taught by somebody in the Maryland DC region who has walked in your shoes, sat in your seat, and proven and grown their success. So you're gonna to listen to different voices every single night to learn best practices, okay? You have the entire region to support you. So please take advantage of it. Thank you so much for your participation, the chats, everything. Um, if you need anything, again, Melissa, my operations person, will be emailing you all, the, all of the information. And we will put all of our information in the chat box right now. So I'll put mine real quick. Hold on. And as I'm putting this into the chat again, thank you so much for saying yes to growth, saying yes to growing your business and really setting the tone. This is Q4. We're in the middle of Q4, but you're setting the tone for your Q1 for 2021. Everyone is going to have a great 2021 and we're, excuse me, 2022 and every, we're manifesting that for everyone. So thank you for hanging tough with us tonight. Thank you for saying yes to growing your business. I hope everyone enjoys their evening. Uh, Ayana, you have anything else to add? Talk to 10 people a day, five days a week, and your business will grow. I promise you. That's it. That's all I have. All right, everybody, go relax, go have an amazing night, and tomorrow, wake up refreshed and take action. All right, good night, everybody. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good night. Thank you.